Luigi. Buddy, how's your day? Yeah? Are you having a good morning? Oh my God, I love them. All right, let's talk about feedback, the importance of it and why you need to get some. A survey done by PwC, and let me just reference the stats here, where nearly 60% of respondents appreciated feedback and wanted feedback, but only 30% said that they received it. Now, what's going on there? Is there a mental block in asking for feedback and asking for help can be hard? Is it because culturally, maybe within the US, we don't necessarily ask for feedback that much? Either way, I'm gonna talk about my journey in getting feedback and how it's been so important to me starting my own business. Step one of what I did was I just started asking people in my life and saying, hey, I'm gonna go on my own and I'm gonna start doing operations for businesses. What do you think? That was just some casual feedback that I was getting from colleagues and friends and family that know me really well. And the immediate response was, oh yeah, that makes sense. So it was a really funny way of just telling me, yeah, Ariana, people know that you do this. You're, it's one of your strengths. No duh, let's continue down the path and, and moving forward with this idea. Now, I will tell you, I have asked friends and family about other ideas that I have. Hey, I wanna start this flaky salt company. The response was not, yeah, that makes sense. It was, wait, what do you mean flaky salt? And sometimes that's a good thing, right? If somebody's sort of thrown off guard, but in the response that I got, it said, why are you going after that? Like there's so many other things that you do that you're strong at that this doesn't make a lot of sense. Once I got that informal feedback, then I went to the next phase, which was actually starting to figure out how to brand myself and to show myself in a more formal way. Now, the easiest way that I found to do that was by just spinning up a website. I'll talk about that in another episode uh, around how I went about doing that. For me, I used a platform called Squarespace and I really just wanted to get the copy locked in and trying to figure out how I wanted to pitch myself. And I kind of threw the kitchen sink at this website. I was like, I can do everything. I can stand on my head and I can touch my toes with my nose and like all this sort of crazy stuff. Um, <laughs> and once I created that draft, when I started to send it to people like my husband or really close friends or colleagues, they gave me invaluable feedback. First bit of the feedback was, Ooh, I love the design. Like it feels really good. It feels really you. That was like a for me because I really wanted the website to feel like how I approach projects, which is, you know, on a really human level and a really approachable style. And so the fact that I was hitting those marks for those folks was awesome. But I got a mixed amount of feedback on the offerings that I was giving. Some people were like, oh, this is really neat. You're doing home operations and work operations and digital operations, like that's really awesome. But I had one of my wonderful neighbors, uh, Naomi, shout out to you, that said, hey, Ariana, I think you might be undervaluing your knowledge. You've worked in business operations for over a decade. You have all this knowledge and you probably should be targeting businesses and how they're doing their operations since you have so much experience in it. I had to really take that feedback in and think to myself, is how I'm pitching myself as clear as I could possibly pitch so that people understand what I'm doing. And the truth was I wasn't, I was throwing the kitchen sink in. Now, I love to organize homes, it's really fun, but it's more of an extracurricular organization than an actual, hey, I wanna do this for my business type of organization. That like sounds so nerdy and I understand how nerdy that sounds, but uh, anyway, um, so what I did was I took the website that I had and I decided to focus it mostly on businesses and what type of operational support that they would need. Knowing that they might need some physical organization, but for the most part, operations has to do with the flow of the end-to-end -end execution of what the business is doing. Now, when I decided to make that switch, it's like everything fell into place. Without that feedback, I would be quite lost in what I was doing. And I'm still gathering feedback every single day. I'm talking to other people who have been consultants for years and have started their own business. And they give me constant feedback that I take and iterate. 
your business and what you're doing is not static. You always have to be evolving. And by getting feedback regularly, you can continuously evolve that until you settle into exactly where you need to be. The summary is, if you don't ask for feedback, you're missing out on a huge part of what you need to be doing, whether that's in your working life, your personal life, or starting your own business. And by getting feedback, not only do you connect with people in your life, but you also get a outside view of what you're building, which is invaluable. Tomorrow is all about networking and all the different things that I'm learning about why networking scared me and how I'm doing it better and what is networking actually. I hope to see you then, but until tomorrow, have a great day and we'll talk soon. Bye.